I am a big fan of time blocking. It helps me to minimize potential distractions and to stay focused on my work as I go about my day. Traditionally, it's been done using either a blank notebook or a dedicated calendar app, depending on your preferences. But in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can actually time block your day in Obsidian using a community plugin called Day Planner. The Day Planner plugin allows you to have your time block plan visible in the right sidebar as you work in Obsidian. But it has a couple of hidden features that really make it a powerful time blocking tool. Now I'm gonna show you those later, but first let's briefly talk about what time blocking is and why you might want to do it in the first place. Time blocking is basically a budget for your time. By giving every hour a job, your brain is now free to focus on the task at hand instead of trying to think about all the other important things that you should be doing instead. When you time block, you basically just map out what you're going to be doing for every hour of your day on a timeline. Start by putting in the non-negotiable things first, like meetings and appointments. In the next, block time for the important tasks and projects that you want to get done, protecting the time to take action on them. Then you fill in the holes until your entire day is planned out. Now, a quick note, if you've not time blocked before, you need to make sure that you use big time blocks. I recommend your blocks not be any less than one hour in length. The reason is that if your blocks are too small, you'll have no margin for when things go off track and it will be impossible for you to recover. Also, remember that it's just that, a plan. One of my favorite quotes is by Dwight Eisenhower, who said that plans are worthless, but planning is everything. And that means that the act of planning can help you create intention for how you're going to spend your time. But don't treat that plan as sacred. It will get blown up from time to time, and that's okay. By creating the plan in the first place, you're actually much better equipped to roll with the punches and handle whatever life throws at you. All right, now let's take a look at the Day Planner plugin. Now, before you can use the Day Planner plugin, you'll need to make sure that either the Daily Notes core plugin or the Periodic Notes community plugin are installed. I actually recommend that you enable the Daily Notes plugin anyway, so make sure it's toggled on in the core plugins section of the settings. Next, let's install Day Planner. So click on Community Plugins, click Browse, search for Day Planner, and install this one right here. Now be careful not to install the old one. That's a legacy plugin and it has OG in the title. So click on Day Planner to select it, then click Install and then Enable. All right, now let's go to the settings and configure a few things. Now most of this you can leave as is, but the important one here is the Planner heading and the Planner heading level. Your time block plan that shows up in Day Planner will actually be located in this section on your daily notes. So let's pick the heading that we want to use. Next, set the heading level by dragging this slider. By default, it's set to a first level header, but all the sections in my daily notes are third level headers, so I'm gonna change this to three. Okay, now we're ready to use Day Planner, and there are two different views for the Day Planner plugin, the single day timeline view and the weekly view. Let's look at the single day view first. Access the command palette on the Mac, this can be done by using the keyboard shortcut Command P, and then type Day Planner to see all the actions that the Day Planner plugin just added. There are three of them here. Show the Week Planner, Open Today's Day Planner, and Show the Day Planner Timeline. The last one is the one we want, so select Show the Day Planner Timeline and hit Enter. The Day Planner Timeline opens in the right sidebar, showing us the time block plan for the current day. Since we haven't created a plan yet, the timeline will be empty to start. To add something to this timeline, just click and a new item gets added. You can adjust the length of the time block by hovering over the bottom of the block until you see a purple bar appear. Just click that bar and drag to adjust the allotted time for the block. If you want to move the item to a new time slot, click the drag handle in the upper right corner and move the block to the appropriate time. Clicking on the block itself will open the daily note for today and highlight the block in the day planner section that you just set in the settings. From here, you can type a new name for the block and it will be reflected in the day planner timeline. You can also build out the rest of your time block plan here using text. Just create more bullets, add the time codes using 24 hour formatting for the beginning and end of the block, and they will get added to your day planner timeline. Now let's take a look at the week view. This is the part about day planner that I really like. You can once again use the command palette or you can click this button in the ribbon to open the day planner week view. This actually functions exactly like the day view timeline, but allows you to plan your entire week. 
The current day is highlighted at the top, but you can click anywhere to add a new block to the daily note for that particular day. I like this view a lot because I find thinking about my week as a whole before I attempt a time block for the next day helps me create more accurate plans. By thinking through what I have to do throughout the rest of the week first, I'm less surprised by the things that may pop up, and I'm more equipped to make adjustments to my time block plan on the fly. There are also some more advanced commands that are hidden behind keyboard modifier keys. For example, if you hold the control key, the dots icon in the upper right of a time block changes to a stack icon. And now if you click and drag while holding the control key, that block will move along with all of the other blocks above or below it. This is really handy for when you need to adjust your plan as you can take a block and just move it down and the rest of your plan will adjust with it. Likewise, you can hold the control key while clicking the purple bar at the bottom of a block if you want to extend it and have everything else adjust at the same time around it. You can also copy a block by holding the shift key. This causes the dots icon to be replaced with a copy icon and now you can just click in the upper right of a block to copy it and paste the copied time block. So that's Day Planner in a nutshell, but I got a few more tips to help you use it better. First, if you use the calendar plugin also, you're going to want to change the icon that the Day Planner uses for the timeline view in the right sidebar, since it uses the same calendar with a check mark icon by default. I like the sheets and box icon as I think it looks a little bit like a stack of time blocks, but you won't see this change until you quit and reopen Obsidian or force Obsidian to reload. On the Mac, you can do this by going to the View menu and selecting Force Reload. Second, if you want to time block your tasks, you can use checkboxes instead of the standard bullets. Instead of the dash for a bulleted list, just use the dash space left bracket space right bracket formatting before the time, and the time block will display a checkbox in either the daily or weekly timeline views. You can check the boxes as you get things done, and the tasks are marked as complete on your daily note. Third, if you want to add more detail to your time blocks, you can do so by indenting additional bullets below the time block entries. Just hit enter on your daily note to create a new bullet, then hit tab to indent it under the time block above and to add additional lines to the time block. These additional lines will show up as bullets, but this will also work with subtasks if you want to use checkboxes instead. As you can see, Day Planner is pretty powerful, but there are a few things that I would like to see changed. First, I wish I could change the default time block length. As I mentioned earlier, I don't recommend using time blocks any less than one hour as they don't provide enough flexibility going throughout my day. Since the default time block is 30 minutes in Day Planner, that means I have to adjust every time block I make in the timeline view. Now I can avoid this by using the keyboard in the daily note, but that doesn't really work with weekly planning. And I wish there was a setting where I could configure the default time block to one hour as that would save me a lot of fiddling with the time blocks that I create. Second, I wish you could put the time block plan inside a callout on the daily note. I've seen people put their Obsidian task queries inside callouts and I think it would be cool if you could do that for your time block plan. Unfortunately, when you put the header and the bullets inside of a callout, the Day Planner plugin can't find it. I'm not sure this is technically possible with the way that Day Planner works, but it would be cool. So there you have it, a complete walkthrough of time blocking in Obsidian using the Day Planner plugin. Now, if you like this video, you'll probably like my newsletter too, which you can sign up for at obsidianuniversity.com. I send out a weekly newsletter every Monday to help people make more of their notes and ideas in Obsidian through values-based productivity and creativity workflows. I've also got a free starter vault that has template files and a bunch of other Obsidian tips. And you can download the starter vault for free by going to obsidianuniversity.com vault. All the tips are organized by category and I've got a couple other goodies in there as well, like a markdown reference note, a list of all the supported call formats, and all of my recommended Obsidian settings.